What's going on everybody watching this? I appreciate you watching it. These are, this show is my new edition of Ask WWE NXT Guy Ask Me Questions. Got the questions from Twitter. Got four different questions I'm going to answer from three people. Three Twitter followers. Great followers. People I really like and I think of as friends. Hopefully they feel the same about me. So these are from Twitter that I'm going to be answering. I believe this is Ask WWE NXT guy number seven or eight. I lost count. Anyways, very good questions I got from Twitter. If you have any questions for me and you only subscribe to me on YouTube, well, send your questions under this video in the comments. Send me new questions in the comments or new questions on uh, Twitter at WWE NXT Guy. You can tweet me them with hashtag ask WWE NXT Guy so I know it's a question. For my YouTube show. So here we go. First question. From a great wrestling fan. Good friend on Twitter. At. R. R. U. I mean R. Y. S. T. E. E. R. Ryan. Great guy to follow on Twitter. Again his Twitter handle is. At. Capital R. Y S T E E R Ryan. Follow him. His question was What's your dream card for WrestleMania 33? What's my dream card? Took me about uh, 10, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to think to what I'd want to see and what it would be. So I wrote down all the matches I would want to see. At WrestleMania 33, my dream card. So here it is, Ryan. I hope your name is Ryan. Because, I don't know, that's your name in your Twitter handle. So uh, maybe that's not your name. If, it, if Ryan is not your name, I apologize. So here we go. My dream card for WrestleMania 33 is... I'll start off with the first match. I got written down. Undertaker... Up against Goldberg. Undertaker and Goldberg. I would like to see that match. I think the fans would like to see it also. Undertaker would win. Undertaker would win over Goldberg. Goldberg already had a WrestleMania win at WrestleMania 20. Next match would be Kevin Owens taking on Brock Lesnar. Kevin Owens against Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar would be the baby face. And Brock Lesnar I have winning over Kevin Owens. Up next it would be AJ Styles. This is a non-title match. AJ doesn't... Uh, I don't know if he has the WWE Championship. I don't even know if I booked or put down the WWE Championship to be defended. Anyways, it's not a title match if AJ was champion. AJ Styles taking on a coming out of retirement HBK Shawn Michaels. AJ Styles, Shawn Michaels. That's a dream match. I've always wanted to see. And maybe we could see that match in 2017 in real life. Hopefully it would happen. Hopefully maybe at the Royal Rumble. Because the Rumble is in Texas. Where Shawn Michaels is from. Or lives there. So AJ Shawn Michaels. I would have AJ Styles getting the victory over Shawn Michaels. Up next. The six man tag. Six man tag street fight. The new wide family. Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, Luke Harper taking on the New Day. In a street fight. The new wide family would win. Up next, Finn Ballard, he's back from his injury, Finn Ballard taking on Seth Rollins. Finn Ballard wins in his WrestleMania debut. 
Nakamura take on Y2J Chris Jericho. This is for the U.S. title. And Jericho is the U.S. champion. So Nakamura, Jericho for the U.S. title. Nakamura wins and becomes the new U.S. champion in his WrestleMania debut. Now I have the inter, no, inter kind of title is not on the line. It's a non-title match. The Miz is still the, my Intercontinental Champion. The Miz taking on Daniel Bryan. The Miz has Maurice, his wife in his corner. Daniel Bryan has Shane McMahon, the commissioner, in his corner. If The Miz wins, he becomes a GM of SmackDown. So if The Miz wins, he becomes a GM of SmackDown. And I got The Miz winning at WrestleMania. And he becomes a GM of SmackDown. Um, next, for the WWE Universal Championship. I have Roman Reigns as a Universal Champion. Roman Reigns taking on John Cena. I know Cena's on SmackDown. Reigns is on Raw. But that doesn't matter. Because this is a dream card. So Roman Reigns, John Cena... Reigns defending the Universal title, I would have John Cena winning because I don't like Reigns. So, up next for the tag team titles, the tag team champions are Sheamus and Cesaro. They are defending against the Revival from NXT. They're now a part of Raw. The Revival against Sheamus and Cesaro for the tag titles. The Revival wins. Again, in another WrestleMania debut, the Revival would get the victory and become the tag champs of Raw. Now for the Raw Women's title. Raw Women's Championship, the champion is Sasha Banks. She would defend against Bayley. They would have a great match, just like they did at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn in 2015. They would tear the house down. The fans would love it. Sasha Bailey for the women's title. Bailey wins, becomes the new women's champion. Even though Sasha is my favorite, I would have I would have Bailey win the title. So now for the SmackDown Women. SmackDown women's title is a fatal four-way. Alexa Bliss taking on the champion. She got the title back. Becky Lynch is a champion. Alexa Bliss, Alexa Bliss versus Becky versus Nikki Bella versus Mickey James. Mickey James is now on SmackDown. I would have Mickey James win the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania 33. Now to the kickoff, a kickoff match. Or before the kickoff, I'll talk about another match on the pay-per-view. Dean Ambrose taking on a returning Kurt Angle. Dean Ambrose, Kurt Angle. I think that'd be a great match to watch. It'd be entertaining. But Kurt Angle would be returning. He would have to get the victory and win at WrestleMania. So Kurt Angle wins over Ambrose. Now to the kickoff match. There are two kickoff matches. One is... The Andre the Giant Battle Royal. And you would have guys in there like Baron Corbin. He won it last year, but who cares? Throw him in it again because I don't know what else to do with Corbin. So put him in the Andre Battle Royal. Put all the mid-carters in the Battle Royal. I'm talking about our truth Gold Dust, Shining Stars, uh, Curtis Axel, Bo Dallas. Darren Young, all those guys, mid carters, put them on the Battle Royal. Put uh, Braun Strowman in there. Put in James Ellsworth. Put him in the Andre Battle Royal. But who would I have win it? I would have Braun Strowman win the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Braun Strowman would win the Battle Royal. And now to the last kickoff match of my dream card for WrestleMania 33. The last match would be Car a SmackDown women's match. It would be Carmella, six man, or six women's tag. Carmella, Natalia, and Naomi taking on from Raw, 
Charlotte, Nia Jax, and, Ale and Alicia Fox. So it'll be Team Raw against the Team Women's from SmackDown. Again, Team Raw, Charlotte, Nia Jax, and Alicia Fox. Team SmackDown would be Carmella, Natalia, and Naomi. So there's my dream card. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope uh, you enjoy my dream card. There it is. On to the next question. By the way, first question, thank you, uh, Ryan, if that's your name. Thank you for sending me a question to do my show. Because without any questions, I cannot do these shows. So the next question is from a great, great friend on Twitter. Great friend. Have been following her for probably five years, at least. Known her probably the longest out of anybody on Twitter that I talk to. She's very sweet, very nice person, very good friend. So her question from at, she's on Twitter, follow her. She's a great wrestling fan and a cool person. At Kara, or at Kara, or Kara. At K, capital K, A, capital R, A, capital R, A, C, N, 75. Follow her. If you didn't get that from how I spelled it, well, I'll put all the Twitter handles in my description so everybody can read them and follow these people because they're great people. So her question to me was, if you could see any match with any wrestler with a no DQ, who would they be and what kind of match also would it be? If I could pick any wrestlers to have a no DQ match, past or present, and make it any match I want to, well, I would pick Mick Foley in his prime. In around 98, when he could still move good. So Mick Foley from 98, I would pick against Brock Lesnar. Mick Foley against Brock Lesnar. And it'd be no DQ. And I'd put them in a Hell in a Cell match. Mick Foley, Brock, in a Hell in a Cell. I think that'd be damn entertaining. And I'd like to see that. Or I would have liked to see it. But it's impossible that we'll see it now. So, the match would be a Hell in a Cell, and it'd be Mick Foley from 98 against 2016 Brock Lesnar. So, our next question was, who are, who are your favorite band? Well, I can't just say one, because that'd be a lie. I have more than one favorite band. Number one... I'll just I'll give you a, a top three top three favorite right now and then I'll give you two more and make it a top five but my number one favorite would be Metallica no doubt about it I love their music I, I mean you want to anybody want to get fired up for something you want to get yourself hyped up listen to Metallica they are I love them. Love those guys. Love their music. Always have. Metallica's number one. Number two would be... Number two would... Uh, number two would be ACDC, probably. They would be my number two. Sadly, the lead singer from ACDC, Brian Johnson, can't perform with them anymore because he went deaf. Or he went half deaf, and if he gets on stage, he'll go 100% deaf. So he can't perform with the band anymore, that sucks. Because Brian Johnson was a man. He was the voice for ACDC for about 36 years. He joined them in 1980. And the first singer ACDC had, that guy was great. Bon Scott, he was damn good. But... Uh, Brian Johnson, to me, was the best singer ACDC had. Now they have uh, Axl Rose as their lead singer. Good for them. 
I don't got a problem with Axel. Axel Rhodes has a damn good voice, and I've heard him sing a couple ACDC songs. He didn't sound bad. But still, Brian Johnson with ACDC was the best version of them. So Metallica would be one of my number one favorites. ACDC be number two, number three would be a pretty new, pretty new band. They came out. I don't know when. They might start making music ten years ago. I'm not sure, or seven years ago. I'm not sure. I just discovered them this year. Their name is the Coat Hangers. The Coat Hangers. Three women in one band. They are fantastic. They are great. I love their music. They got a lot of great songs. The Coat Hangers. One of their few great songs they got. Again, if you want to look them up, their name is the Coat Hangers. Look up a song called Down Down. Uh, I enjoy that. It's pretty damn good. At least I think it's good. Um, Down Down is the name of one of their songs. Another name is of a good song. Squeezy Tiki. Another name is Watch Your Back. And another name of their song is Shut Up. Another name of their song is that I really enjoy. Let's see. Down Down, Watch Your Back. Squeezy Tiki. Shut up. Uh, Nosebleed Weekend. That's a great song. So the group, the Code Hangers, they are fantastic. They're badass. I love their music. And the fourth, one of my fourth favorite bands would probably be Limb Biscuit. I really enjoyed their music when they were making music. I have two of their CDs. They have a lot of great songs on those two CDs. I mean, a lot of great songs. Limb Biscuit made. I also really enjoy uh, electronic dance music. I really enjoy that type of music. I also enjoy pop music. A lot of the different kinds of music I listen to. I even listen to, uh, I really like Carrie Underwood. She's country, but I don't really like anybody else in country except Carrie Underwood. She's great, has a great voice. Taylor Swift, pop music, I listen to her. I love Kesha. She's She did pop music. If you ever heard of her, Kesha, she's great. But she's not in a band, but she's still great. Love her music. Uh, I, I, I got a ton, ton of music CDs. And I just got a lot of different types of music on them. As I said, electronic dance music I got on CDs along mixed with metal, heavy, I love heavy metal, love hard rock music. I'll even listen to classic rock, but not all classic rock I enjoy. But favorite band would be Metallica, and then ACDC, and then The Coat Hangers. Those are my favorite bands. I know you said who's your favorite band, but... I couldn't name just one, but number one would be Metallica. So thank you, Kara, or Kara, I'm sorry I get your name messed up. Thank you for the questions. Those were very good, two very good questions. Up next is from, from Twitter follower at PMercer31. It's at capital P, capital M, E, R, C, I... ER31. Uh, again, I'll put your Twitter handle in the description so people can follow you. So, his question was, my thoughts about Nigel McGuinness now with, with WWE. What are my thoughts about Nigel McGuinness and that now that he's with the WWE? Uh, I'm pretty sure he signed a contract because he's going to be a commentator for the uh, UK tournament where all UK wrestlers are going to be in a tournament a two night tournament I believe both nights are on the WWE Network in January fighting for the first ever 
WWE United Kingdom Championship. And Nigel McGuinness will be a part of it. He'll be calling the matches, I believe, with Michael Cole. So my thoughts on Nigel McGuinness, good for him. I'm happy for the guy. He, What I've heard, I've heard him in Ring of Honor for a while on commentary. He's pretty good. So I'm happy for Nigel McGuinness, and I'm happy that he's going to be a part of WWE. That's fantastic. It's good for him, and it's good for the fans that they will hear some great commentary. So that's my answer. As I said, he was he was very good in Ring of Honor as a commentator. And him with WWE, I like it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy it. Hearing him in WWE. So there is my show. It's over. Ask WWE NXT guy. Hope you enjoyed it. The three Twitter followers that sent me questions, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, guys. Because without questions, I couldn't do this show. Again, if you follow me on Twitter and you watch this, or if you just subscribe to my channel, send me questions under this video in the comments. Or tweet me on Twitter and send me more questions with hashtag at not at, hashtag ask WWE NXT guy with that hashtag ask your question so I know it's for my show. And I'll give you a shout out on my next ask WWE NXT guy video. Follow me on Twitter at WWE NXT guy. And subscribe to my YouTube, like my videos, share my videos, comment on my videos. Have a great weekend. Bye for now everybody.